Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can, no one will. Who can stand? Who can stand against our King? No one can, and no one will. Hear me. Let me speak to someone. This year, your family is about to experience something that those who have been bound. I'm speaking prophetically age long captivities that have tied people down in the name of Jesus the mighty warrior the terrible one will arise as a warrior that he is and the foundations of many families will be rattled everything that has not been planted by God must give way All doors, all doors. When it is God, it must insist that all doors open. All doors. This is not a year to celebrate some doors and leave others. All doors, all doors. Mention some of the doors that must open. Thank God for the ones that opened last year. All doors, all doors. Someone is prophesying for one minute. All doors. All doors. Shapreketa peleketa pakoshka ta brandeketa balash. All doors by the Spirit of the Living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A, a scripture just came to my spirit. I believe that should be Judges 16 and verse 3. Samson. Although it was not a very nice story, unfortunately, but the Bible says Samson removed the door of the gate. Look for it for us. Yes. At me, he says he laid at midnight. The Philistines were gathering round. He said, I will not only you want to fight me, I will show you the one who has strengthened me. I will not only open, the, I will remove the door. The Bible says he removed the doors of the gate of the city and climbed a hill and kept it and sat there. Now you are ready to pray. Psalm 24, verse 7. Psalm 24, verse 7. Lift up your heads. Not give me a key. This situation is not just about a key. Not where is my destiny helper. Lift up your heads. All ye gates. And be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, that the King of glory, hear me, hear me, please look up. Let me tell you what this means. There are doors that you try to enter and you try to use a key. Ordinarily it should open, but because there is a spirit behind it, even when you are using a key, it does not open. There are times that you knock and men should help you. And because there is a spirit, their hearts are hardened like Pharaoh. And they will not open the door to the job, the door to that opportunity. Do you know what God does? He says, move, let me be the one to enter. Because you see, question. When God comes as a savior, he knocks. But when he comes as a warrior, he breaks. Understand this. There is Jesus the Savior who will knock at the door of your heart gently but when he stands before obstacles I sense the power of God so strong in this place now Hallelujah Hallelujah 
Lift up your heads. Ancient gates. Ancient gates. Ancient doors. Lift up your heads. Ancient doors. The King of Glory. The King of Glory. The King of Glory. Hallelujah. Listen, we're about to pray. Pay attention now. Please look up. So I have taught you that there are three biblical ways to open closed doors. Never forget this for the rest of your life. Number one is by the application of kingdom principles, keys. Many doors will already be opened by the application of keys. There are times that you may not need keys, but you need people who are the uh, other side of the door. The ministry of men, the ministry of mercy and favor. But let me tell you the truth. Most of the doors that represent defining moments in the lives of men are not an issue of key or men. They are issues of spirits. Spirits. Nobody has ever risen from this family like that. Let, let, let us be the protectors of this covenant. That anybody that must rise from this family must serve this idol. And if you now come and say you will serve the living God. That ah, in the name of Jesus. May the mighty warrior arise. Arise, arise in power. Arise, arise in grace. Arise, arise in glory. Hallelujah. Now, please show me the design of the prophetic word. Can you display the design, the cover design? You will tell me of these three, which one has opened the door that you are about to see. Then I will share with you the vision that led to this prophetic word and we'll pray. Can you find the design? Just the cover design for this. If you can find it, put it for us, please. I was praying and preparing as I would always do to receive a prophetic word. Please pay attention now. And I was caught up in the spirit and I had a vision. And in this vision, I had like a, you know, a door, giant door. And then I saw these ancient keys. Um, one time, in London, I was given, a few people gave me a, a key just to represent the mysteries of the kingdom. So they gave me as a gift. You know, these Europeans value a lot of these things. We don't value them in Nigeria. Once it doesn't bring money directly, we don't care. <laughs> but they gave me this bunch of very old keys. I think they used maybe for castles or something. So they made it and gave me as a memorial to just know that, you know, custodians of the mysteries of the kingdom. So I have it somewhere. I just, I just keep it there. And... Um, and so I saw a key like that, and it opened the door. Then the second time, I did not see a key again. All I had was boom, like the door was hit, and I just saw light. Then I saw the word open doors. That's how I knew that God was speaking to us this year, that it will be the year of open doors. Let me tell you, if you have, if you have never seen a prophetic word come to pass, let this be the year you see it come to pass in your life. Hallelujah. When I called our people to design for the prophetic word, I insisted that certain things be captured in that design to reflect the vision that I saw. The key word for these open doors is all doors open. Not just open doors all doors all doors all doors what does this mean let me tie this up now so that we'll pray listen carefully now you may sit for a moment so that when you rise next we rise to pray when you stand in front of a closed door i said when you stand in front of a closed door the first thing you need is discernment when you stand in front of a closed door, the first thing you need is not action. The first thing you need is discernment. Is this door closed for preservation? Closed 
to add value or is this a demonic door that is an impedance a hindrance to my progress it will guide you to be able to know what tool to use if the door was locked with keys then what you need will be keys to open it if there are men at the other side of the door then you will need to master the art of knocking but if there are spirit entities and covenants that have stood at the back of that door you see if you open a door with a key it can be closed again but when a door is broken your children and your children's children can pass there are many people listen if in a family of 20 or 30 people one person maneuvers his way and forces that door to open and it closes behind him you did not do much he said as for me and my house the blessing will always be for you and your house hallelujah as for me and my house please help those under the anointing it's for me and my house he says, I and the children that the Lord has given me, we are for signs and for wonders in Israel. It is not just one person, I and everybody. When I was praying in the, my pre preparing, receiving this prophetic word for my own life, I prayed for every one of you in the spirit. You see, can you see two doors open and you can see the Holy Spirit as a sign of the supernatural power of God. Are you seeing that it was so open that it's not only one person that passed? I'm not an artist, but I, I know when you see some things, you force it to be reflected there. It is not only one person. Question, when that demonic door called the Red Sea opened, how many people passed? Talk to me, please. How many people passed? There was not one covenant person who was left. The way the Red Sea opened should tell you it was a door, not a river. Rivers move. But this one opened heater and teeter on dry ground. The Red Sea was a mystery in the spirit. That was why Pharaoh had confidence that these guys cannot pass. Remember the Nile is, Egypt is a place of wizardry. They had covenants with serpents. They had covenants with the elements of creation. Moses knew that no kind of architecture will move the water to where now. It was a Red Sea for a reason. But God said, no. That means there are many things you will see that look like doors. But if God helps you to look, you will find out they are not really doors. They are just spirits masquerading as doors. Opened it hither and thither. When God opens a door, it is enough for everybody. Everybody in the prison was not praying everybody in the prison was not singing but when god came even those who provided they were in the vicinity that means there are some of your family members they may not even be born again but when my god i don't know about your own god but when my god arises and shows up this year there are doors that will open that your children's children will eat from as many as are far off in the name of jesus christ all doors including the one that is not your business provided it came under the covering of your prayer all doors all doors what is your business with your neighbors rising all doors all doors all doors financial doors There are people who have struggled in ministry. I'm saying this prophetically. You have done everything with the integrity of heart and it looks like those doors are not opening. Help them. I decree and declare by the mantle that came with this prophetic word, in the name of Jesus, strange doors will begin to open for you. Hear me. There are businesses that lost money last year, lost opportunity last year. You are saying, God, I do not even know how to start. You don't need one or two doors. The situation you are in now, even if two doors open, it may not be enough. In the name of Jesus, let the all door anointing, the all door anointing, the all door anointing, let it rest upon you.
please do not be careless with prophetic words this year not everybody is joking and playing games there are words that come from the bowel of prayer and contact with the spirit all doors all doors using all your money to treat your health because the devil wants to kill you don't keep quiet and die as if you are not a believer this door of health you must open up this year hear me this is the year you should not listen to all that nonsense and say it has always been like that there is power to change it it has always been like that that if you do not have a key prison doors don't open except that when God comes he rewrites rules again hallelujah all doors all doors this is what God has said and we believe now watch this it means therefore that in this year 2023 God is going to be principally dealing with us across three areas one access to the keys of the kingdom he's going to be teaching us to know how to access the keys of the kingdom according to Matthew 13 and verse 11 it says it has been given unto you to know the kingdom the mysteries of heaven Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 16 to 19 Paul was praying over the church in Ephesus and he cried unto God that he said I cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayer 17 that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him reading to 19 the eyes of your understanding being enlightened it says that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and the riches of the glory of the inheritance of the saints verse 19 it says and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe to us word who believe to us word who believe according to the working of his mighty power so all through this year every koinonia service will be a feast of light revelation and mysteries coming to empower you by the spirit number two favor this year God is going to be granting us access to understand the mysteries of favor seeing then that knocking will require a man at the other side of the door to open it revelations 3 9 please revelations 3 9 you need to understand the mysteries that control favor never let anybody downplay the place of favor 3 9 revelations behold it says um okay give us verse 8 my apologies 3 8 3 8 i know thy works he said behold I have said before thee so there are times that an open door can be set before you your assignment is to walk into it because you have received help he said haven't obtained help from the Lord I continue unto this day I have said before you an open door no man because it was not a man that opened it a man cannot shut it I have said before you there are times that the door is closed he gives you keys to open but there are times he can set before you an open door by the help of God hallelujah and then of course number three this year God is going to be teaching our hands to war seeing then that there is a dimension of warfare and power give us Psalm 144 and verse 1 that God is able to teach our hands to war and even our fingers to fight blessed be the Lord my strength which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight this charge I give unto you my son Timothy he says that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy there are words that are coming you must gain mastery on how to war a good warfare in the spirit because there are doors that will never open except by engaging the power of God Psalm 66 and verse 3 say unto God how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves unto you can I tell you the truth there are certain things about your business your life your home your children it is going to take the ministry of warfare and power 
Hallelujah. I prayed for a young man one time, very, you know, like a, I think a teenager or so. And this gentleman said, whenever it's time for exams, very young boy, intelligent, even talking with him, you will know that this is a bright boy. But you see the results of that boy is not something that glorifies God at all. The failure is too bad. And the boy said, every time he sits down, um, he just goes blank during exams. And until he writes nonsense or nothing at all, he will leave that place and start remembering everything. That child does not need counseling. What that child needs is power. Are we together? For many of us, hear me, there are many doors, even spiritual doors, doors of hearing, doors of seeing, that have been closed over your life. Channels of my spirit, open up. I am with the, the Father. Father. Open up. No boundaries, no limits. Open up. Let me call on you. Open up. The channels of my spirit. I am with the Father. Open up my hearing open up you are a door see listen hear me you can be standing close to the helper of your destiny and yet not know that between you and him is a door and be wondering why you are so close and yet nothing reaches you don't forget Luke 11 I am close to you, just a door difference, but it's already late. The door is shut. I cannot give you. There are many of you who have been so close to people that in a moment can change your life. Sincerely speaking, they discuss the rising of others in your presence and say, um, I, will remember, I will do something about your issue. And yet you see God using them to lift others and you are there. Just because you are looking at a man does not mean there is no door. Doors can be invisible. Invisible does not mean unreal. Invisible just means beyond the scope of your optical eyes. In fact, most doors are invisible. Hallelujah. Most doors are invisible. Haraso Ali Shalika Sobrande Gasatia Shalado Savretes Kebeleko Shabranda Gadiada Grande Gaso de Belego Siata Grata Bagasiata. I'm just seeing what looks like a coffin, and I'm seeing like a dead corpse coming back to life. This is what I'm seeing. There is an anointing that is bringing resurrection to many families that many things that have been buried down this is what I'm seeing in the spirit everything that has died that should come back to life your joy, your peace, your prosperity I command that it drags back to life now I command that it drags back to life now hear me Please listen to me. Help that lady, please. I want you to listen. We are, we are going to pray some serious prayer now. That's why I didn't take so much time to teach. Every city you see has doors. Just because you are in the city does not mean you are in there already. Please hear me. Preachers, hear me. Business people, hear me. You can be in Abuja for 10 years and in the spirit you are not yet there. That's why everything that is in that city does not answer to you. Why do you think there was a triumphant entry with Jesus? What was the significance? 
He said, blessed is he that comes. Was he not already there? Many of you who have been around northern states, when you are entering a northern state, there are usually like gates. They are not closed, but you'll be mistaken to say they are not closed. Those things are not just architectural constructions. No. A city can reject you and you will know it because you are around what should bless you and it will never bless you. Please hear me. The same way the Bible says we are seated with Christ in heavenly places and yet you are on earth here and the Bible says it's a spiritual reality. Many of you physically you are in a place of abundance but in the realm of the spirit you are in the wilderness somewhere. That's why it does not matter even if someone gives you 10 million. By that mystery of closed doors something must happen for that money to vanish. You may not be careless but what is happening? Close doors. Close doors. How do I know that my doors are closed? Because there is no remembrance to bless you. There are many people like that. Every time it is time to bless and live, they are always forgotten. Hello, Kim Madonna. My story many years ago I was praying from my little room and then my ceiling disappears and then I see this object this creature looking like a dragon kind of bulgy eyes gigantic eyes the size of a man's head will be one of the eye of that creature and it had a tail that was alive having its own life independent of the creature with red fiery eyes and he was looking at me and said so you think you can bring god's people into abundance that was it hear me ladies and gentlemen people don't just remember you to bless you there are mysteries that you engage frowning your face and saying this person knows me and he has forgotten about me you are wasting your time you need to access by grace the keys there are many people who are in ministry under a close heaven, in business under a close heaven, close everything. And you can be well-meaning and sincere and find out that gates don't open. There are regions that have gates, professions have gates, anointings have gates. That's why a man can pray for you, but you have not done what opened the gate or the door that leads to his anointing you may even fall down and stand up the truth is nothing will work when it was time for isaac to bless his sons he needed something that opens the gates of his anointing he said go and make me venison not anyone such as my soul loves there are rules for that flow of power the year of open doors the year of open doors opportunities unhindered now hear me i decided to just give a charge and not take time to teach we have a whole year to do that because we're getting into a serious prayer session now and please do not let the devil fool you this prayer is what will activate and release these anointings hallelujah Please look up. Every day has a door. 12 noon or 12 midnight is not what opens a day. No, sir. No. Just because your clock tells you 11.59 p.m., then the next minute you just say good morning. Physically, bar. 
but in the realm of the spirit you will be surprised many people are still in next year last year last month there is no forward movement i wish what i were telling you were a lie i would not come here and play games to such an intelligent people hmm. hallelujah it is not the passage of time that introduces next days remember doors midwife seasons doors midwife realms doors midwife faces and levels in life you can be at the same level because a door that should open has not been opened hallelujah praise the name of the lord when it was time for lazarus to come forth jesus said roll the stone that door that has sealed his resurrection because if the door does not open his resurrection will be useless open it and when they rolled the stone away he said Lazarus now you come forth and then he said lose him and let him go I know you have business ideas but is the door open just because you bought a shop or a store or a mall does not mean you are in business there are doors why do you think they call certain people and even spirits gatekeepers what are they keeping before jesus started his ministry satan took him to a mountain and said listen you know better than i do look at the glories of the world that means the glories of the world were not controlled by what happened there the spirit that was in the madman in gadara was what controlled the economy of the gatherings the moment something happened to that man the business in gadara died immediately there are people who are rising is not what they are selling there has been doors that were opened through covenants in the spirit hallelujah lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted O ye ancient doors listen to these stubborn gates and doors that the king of glory shall come in go to verse 8 it says who is this king of glory so don't think the doors will just open because you said it is a prophetic word even for Jesus they ask a question who do you think you are ah, but I love the answer there is no discussion there go back to verse 8 the Lord strong not the Lord weak if it is the Lord strong then it must be the believer strong if it is the Lord mighty then it must be the believer mighty if the Lord is mighty even in battle then the believer will be in battle too our assignment in warfare I have taught you is to establish that which is finished our assignment in warfare is not to create a battle and fight with physical strength our warfare in this kingdom has to do with establishing that which is finished and in the next few minutes you are not going to be praying for someone else yet this destiny you are going to flog it out this first service amen 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 Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen.
Let it be so that all doors open. Let it be so that I rise to realms unhindered. Let it be so in the name of Jesus that every closed door opens. Hear me. How do you know that a door has opened? Restraint is lifted. How do you know that a door has opened? Movement is now secured. The hindrance is taken away. Restrictions in ministry. Restrictions in your home. Restrictions in your finances. Restrictions even in your spirit walk. Can I tell you the truth? Hear me ladies and gentlemen. Just because God has spoken I told you. Does not mean it will happen. My Bible is full of many things that God said that did not come to pass. Because those he said it to thought he was joking. The Bible says there remained a rest for the people of God. Is that true? It says that in the day that you hear his voice, harden not your hearts like they did in the wilderness. Don't hear what God is saying and say nonsense. It may not happen. And don't make the foolish decision that the man in Samaria, who the king leans upon, said uh, even if the, the God will open the windows of heaven, might this thing be? For some of you in the place of prayer, God will tell you that January will not come to an end until you are laughing already. And you may not believe him because you look at your life surrounded with pain and shame and everything. Every time you are tempted to doubt, remind yourself who spoke. If it's just your neighbor or your friend who spoke, or an unserious man of God who is not serious with the matters of the spirit, then you may be afraid. But if it's the God of heaven who spoke, go and find out the things that he said that people believed and find out whether it did not come to pass. He said, by this time tomorrow, we discussed this last year, by this time tomorrow, hallelujah, we are going to engage prophecy in a few minutes. We are going to pray seriously. Do not let the devil distract you. It is in this prayer that your faith is released to be on course for the many great things. As a ministry, we have so many things. This year, by God's grace, we are doing conferences in UK. We are doing conferences in Canada and the US. There are many other things that we are doing. We'll be announcing them um, when we are done praying, we just do a bit of housekeeping before we are done. So those of you, I think we are starting with UK. Those of you in the United Kingdom, just prepare. We are coming with the power and the life of Jesus like you have never seen. And um, we are going to get the links and then we will give it to you so that when it's time we will start doing the registration. So make sure that your loved ones all across the United Kingdom, you know, London, um, all of the, the parts around London, Scotland, everywhere you around Europe, including neighboring European countries. We are going to be converging there and lifting up the banner of the power, the grace of Jesus Christ, even across Europe. Under our watch, Europe will not be lost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Revival comes with fire and with grace. And for the U.S., God has granted us open doors and we're coming there with power and grace. Power and grace to make our contributions as far as the prophetic manifestation of revival across the nations are concerned. And by the way, before we pray, I hope and trust that God will, I, I hope that God will grant me 
um, I hope that, that I know that he's granted the grace, and, and I'm saying this so that we all pray. I trust God for grace to do a lot of African nations this year. There is such a burden God has planted. In fact, even sincerely, even more than Europe and the U.S. and uh, several of these continents, there is such a hunger. I have emails and emails of Macedonian calls from across several African nations. Um, I don't want to mention names, but I'm, I'm hoping that we'll be able to, for some of the nations, we've already given them word if they can come together and structure something serious. The challenge sometimes with many nations is that there's a lot of disorganization and um, it may not be able to work that way. So this may be a teaser already for some nations and for a few of the nations um, who are being hosted by the governments of the nations graciously. And so we're more than glad to lead them to their national days of prayer and all of the similar activities. There's a lot this year. We'll come up with that, hopefully, maybe during the miracle service next week. By the way, our first miracle service for 2023 is coming next week, Sunday. And it is going to be, look, it's going to be open doors all the way. In the name of Jesus Christ, open doors all the way. You will know truly that there is a God that sits in heaven. Hallelujah. God may look deceptfully slow, but when he decides to rise, when God decides to rise for your family, your ministry, your life, this year God is going to be placing glory and honor on people. You would see God place his hand that men will be called Beulah and Hephzibah. It will be clear that the hand of God has rested upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while we're praying, we're going to pray. Let me just give two instructions very quickly. Number one, there is the open door sticker. Let me just have it very quickly. <laughs> Hallelujah. I just want to bless it. Now, we did a few things. We're not selling anything. and Everything is absolutely free. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. So, this, this is my seed to the global family, Koinonia Global. We made, we, made, um, we made some exercise books like this to give, especially our children. We want our children to learn. No dull child will remain. You may come however you want, but provided you are here, in the name of Jesus, the mind of Christ must find expression. Our Koinonia children are not non-entities who are raising kings and queens in the name of Jesus. And please, it's important for every parent, speak this into your children. All these negative demonic words, the error for them is over. Don't program rubbish into the destiny of your children. Hallelujah. So this is what uh, the, um, the jotters look like. We'll give as many, uh, two designs, beautifully designed. But this is the one we have, the open doors, um, the sticker, and then Jesus revealed, Jesus glorified. <laughs> Hallelujah. Then we have this. Now, everybody here is going to be given two each um, while you are praying. For sake of time, as soon as I bless this, please, all, have you been given already? Okay, so... Let me just say this, my apologies, this I'm taking from our prayer time, please. A year of open doors is also a year to, be, to heed to instructions and to behave well. If already from the beginning of the year you are walking in disobedience, you already know that you are programming failure because in the body of Christ, no matter, sometimes, I, I don't know how, well, let me assume that, that it is it's different, your case is different in Jesus' name. Amen. While you are praying, the ushers will be passing this. Whatever they give to you, just collect and focus on me and focus on Jesus. Don't look around saying, there's somebody. Mm -mm, leave that one. There is a, we're, we're an organized ministry, for God's sake. And then our international people, we're sending some across the U.S., U.K. So please be patient. It, 
Hallelujah. Be very patient. Those are international guests who are here. Some of them who are point people across certain nations will give a few copies. Look, this is not about idolizing. People have idolized speakers, their stickers and all of that. Um, this does not carry any power on its own. This is just a system. We can bless it, of course, and it can carry the power of the Holy Spirit like I'm about to do. But you know more than this, it will be an insult to all you have learned to suddenly begin to idolize stickers and books and all of that. Now, that does not mean that you can not use it as a point of contact to, con to, to connect by faith. But I'm saying this up front because sometimes in a bid to show honor, it turns to idolatry and the life and the power that should come from it is thrown away. You see, there are some of you, if you want to run out and you forget this, you run back and... No, please. No. I'm, not, I'm not mocking, I'm not being sarcastic, but I'm just telling you that God has granted us access to superior spiritual intelligence. This is for your edification and of course it is a prophetic standpoint a, a prophetic um, medium uh, handkerchiefs and aprons were brought to the body from the body of peter and so you'll be surprised that this by faith will heal someone but the point is whatever happens just know that this is revealing jesus and if it fails to reveal jesus and the only person it reveals is joshua selman or koinonia then we failed we are only tools jesus is the one who should be revealed and glorified are we together But having said that, nothing leaves this altar ordinary. That I can tell you. You ask the devil after you receive this. You, you can be sure that in the name of Jesus, within the boundary of scripture, you can be sure that God will anoint you to work wonders. So can we pray together, stretch your hands, and let's just speak over this as a family of faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have granted us the privilege to do this. We release it to Koinonia Global and to the body of Christ. We pray that it will draw many to Jesus and Lord that it will please you to use it as platforms for healings, deliverances in very tremendous ways. We thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ and by the privilege of God's grace, we dedicate this in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit All right so God bless you please ushers um, you can begin to give it around let we'll do it in an orderly manner please when yours comes to you just receive and then be patient if for any reason we have more than enough more than enough more than enough at least for now the first set of the production is already about 32,000 so be patient everybody is going to get i know that some of you may want to get for some other people no problem at the end of the service you can politely make a request with the ushers or the pr and they will help you and then for those who may will you want to carry it and give people please do not sell there is nothing here that is not the jotas not the exercise books there is nothing that is for sale everything is being paid for it is my gift jesus through me to you that are we together so i'm saying this right now we will not fail to take any decisive action once we hear that people are trying to take advantage of people's liberty it shouldn't be and i believe azaria family by the way let's appreciate azaria family they are connecting right away and um so we're going to pray now praise god are you ready to pray Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he. Go ahead and pray in the spirit for a minute or two. Shapako sata pranda gebeleko sata fraska gebeleko. Shapra de gebaratos kapratesha lakato pranda sedebelakatos. 
Someone is praying all across the globe. Please pray. Following by way of television, internet, and all our social media platforms. Connecting the spirit right now. It's a year of open doors. Pray and say, Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe your word. Lord, I believe. I believe your word. Someone is praying. Declare that I believe. I believe your word. It shall be unto me according to your speakings. In the name of Jesus, it shall be unto me according to your word. In the name of Jesus, hear me. Now, I want you to begin to call every month by name and declare it open. Every month, a fata, January, be open. February, be open. Is someone praying? Open your mouth down to December. January, be open in the name of Jesus. February, be open. March, be open. April, be open. May, be open. June, be open. July, be open. August, be open. September, be open. October, be open. November, be open. December, be open. 2023, be open. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is praying. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. I decree and declare every month. Be open. Deliver that which is locked up within you. Hallelujah. Please help those under the anointing. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this loud and clear. Say, Father, Father. in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that in this year of open doors, I prophesy over my life and destiny all doors open open your mouth and begin to pray decree and declare mention every door you know command it to open all doors all doors marital doors financial doors ministerial doors business doors health doors the door of your mind the doors to your influence the doors of kingdom service the doors to greater anointing the doors to revelation someone is praying all doors open all doors open Open. All doors open. Someone is praying. All doors open. All doors open. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. All doors, 
all doors, all doors. I insist, all doors. Someone insists in a place of prayer, all doors. Outside, all the overflows. Make sure you are praying. Zaria, make sure you are praying. Our global family, all who are connected, pray. All doors open. All doors open. All doors open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, hear me, please. Hear me. I'm going to lead you to make a declaration. The moment you make that declaration, you are at liberty if you want to turn to the east, the south, the west, because we are going to speak to all the, the prophetic regions, the four corner regions. He said, Son of man, prophesy to the four winds. Not one wind, not one direction. Four is the number of balance and stability. You are going to declare whether it's the north, south, east, and west. In the name of Jesus, everywhere this door is, I prophesy to those directions, you must open. Say in Jesus' name. I decree and declare. Northern doors. Southern doors. Eastern doors. Western doors. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Be open. Now. Open your mouth and begin to speak. Declare over every region. Spiritually and geographically. Someone is stretching your hands. To the north. You are declaring by the spirit. Northern doors. Hear the word of the Lord. Southern doors. Hear the word of the Lord. Eastern doors. Hear the word of the Lord. Western doors. Even in the spirit. Ephata. Be open. Ephata. Be open. Ephata. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Prophesy. Be open. The four winds breathe upon this land in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Let the winds be open. Let the doors be open. In Jesus' name I pray. Shout this. Say every spirit. Stand in my way. As a closed door. I decree and declare. The Lord rebuke you. Open your mouth and pray. Every spirit. Every hindrance that stands as a spirit, the Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you for a great door and an effectual is open up to me. But many are the adversaries. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Spirits of delay, backwardness, retrogression, failure at the edge of breakthrough. The Lord rebuke you. Hallelujah. 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 You are going to prophesy 
over your hands and your feet listen you see the hands and the feet are two mysteries in the bible when they caught peter they did not tie his eyes they tied his hands and his feet because these are your instruments for movement and motion when you tie a man's hand and you tie a man's feet you have tied his ability to be strong and demonstrate strength and also his ability to make progress you are going to pray over the works of your hands and pray over your feet listen the bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord that you are not going to do one leg forward and ten steps backward and you are going to pray whatever has made the works of your hands to keep recycling shame and pain you are going to cause it right now is someone ready to pray say in the name of jesus my hands you carry the blessing upon you my feet you carry the blessing upon you therefore i release you for my progress open your mouth and begin to pray your hands as a preacher as a businessman as a politician as a career person i prophesy my hands my feet will lead me to progress by the spirit of the living god i go forward not around i go forward i go forward every step being a greater one someone declare declare Forward, forward. Hallelujah. 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 Don't be tired of praying. We're activating this grace. In Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray do you believe in prosperity because we are going to pray now and ask that the door that is restricting you from entering the place God has earmarked for your blessing believe me when I tell you until it says thou has caused men to ride upon our heads we we went through fire and through water but thou causes us to come into a wealthy place i can tell you when the blessing is not manifested in your life as prosperity it will interrupt many useful things in your life poverty can be a door that stops you from going forward many great things you want to build you want to make progress some of you want to partner with the house of God like never before but this demon spirit of poverty there are many conferences many outreaches many things to do for the kingdom there are many pastors in ministry they are limited they are owing they are in debt there are many business people some of you what you used to do before in terms of blessing others you no longer can do it that door must be cleared out of the way it takes more than a good heart to be a blessing remember your commitment number four that you will be a blessing this year believe me it takes resources you've heard me say the name of Jesus is heavy it takes resources to lift it up for the nations to see if you are going to live a life of integrity and dignity and decorum especially as a minister of the gospel that you are not playing pranks and manipulating people you will need to access the supplies of heaven someone say in the name of Jesus financial doors open open up your mouth and pray financial doors open ideas 
insights, access to light, doors of value open, doors of strategic relationships open, strategic relationships open, strategic relationships open, strategic relationships open. Someone is praying. Strategic relationships open. Financial doors open. Financial doors open. Hallelujah. Listen. Hear me, believers. Let me tell you the truth. Right from the one in this ministry. I'm not ashamed. I'm not one of those preachers that play games over. I hate poverty. It is clear. I will never like it. I will never teach it. I will never endorse it. I know the destructive effect of not having economic power to a people, to a territory, to a nation. You, you embrace a life of poverty and mediocrity. No matter the spiritual explanation, you are on your way to not doing much for the kingdom. What we manage is lost and exiting Christ out of your pursuit for wealth. When your pursuit for wealth becomes a, an appetite for the gratification of the flesh, it compromises on your spiritual life, your passion for God, and it is not used as a tool to reveal him. Now we will frown at that. But not that resources, please don't. There are many of you, your children need to get out of some schools into other schools. If you mean well for their future. Are we together? You send your child to a school, he returns back as if he's a demon. Asking you questions that even as an adult you cannot sleep. But it takes resources. There are many people today who cannot lead many to Jesus because the resources are not there. I vowed a vow that I will never lead the people who are only spiritual. I believe in the power of influence. And you cannot be around the corridors of influence being poor. Settle it once and for all that poverty is of the devil. If you love Jesus and you love his purposes, you will embrace the blessings of the Lord. We are very outspoken about Jesus being exalted above everything. But please hear me, Africa. Let's be delivered from this demon that has kept us and wrapped up through the guise of religion to keep people poor. And then at the same time, advocating prosperity from a, a standpoint that does not glorify Jesus, a standpoint that is a marketing of the flesh that leads people to stealing, killing, and destroying all to prove that their faith is working. This is not what I'm saying. That is absolute nonsense. We are teaching wealth and increase with a heart that is stayed on God and prosperity in your hand that has a mission. This is what we are advocating. But as for poverty, you will not find it here till Jesus comes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Two more prayer points. Are you tired? Please. You are going to pray that the doors of strategic and prophetic relationships be opened. Listen, listen, listen. In Luke 11, when the man was in trouble, he went to his friend's house. You don't go to an enemy's house to ask for help. That means you have to first have a friend before that friend can help you. Is that true? There are many of us who are suffering alone as if you were exempted from any from the death you know the sacrifice of jesus simply because you have not mastered the art of trusting great and valuable relationships this is the year where god has to connect you strategically to people all blessings come from god through men to men my friend I have had some visitors, even though it's late. Please, can you bend over backwards for my sake? There is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Let me tell you, we live in days now where it is only God that can bring men to you. By the time you use your eyes and your brain, you are going to spend your life recycling pain. You need to pray and say, Father, I don't know what door is closing my 
strategic relationships that includes destiny helpers and i've taught you that there are four kinds of destiny helpers never forget number one divine connectors number two men and women of influence number three gifted men number four burden bearers you need these four people in your life say in the name of jesus shout it again say in the name of jesus father i decree and i declare that the doors of strategic destiny relationships be open up to me open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray someone is praying strategic relationships strategic relationships business relationships ministry relationships marital relationships career relationships someone pray there are relationships that if and when introduced to your life can become the ladder that elevates you to heights unimagined when Jonah entered a boat, people lost their properties and almost lost their lives. When Jesus entered a boat, they were preserved. Pray! Doors of relationships be open. Doors of relationships be open. Strategic relationships. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have one more prayer, but it just occurred to me now that when we pray that one prayer, I'll add one more. We have to pray for Nigeria. We have to pray for Nigeria. Hallelujah. Growing up, we were made to sing the national anthem and the national pledge. And we said many powerful things in those anthems that burnt in our hearts. Today, we have many people who do not understand the value and the power of nationhood. Thank God for very visionary leaders and people who are, you know, making these great contributions to help build a sense of leadership and decorum. It is the assignment, listen to me, it is the assignment of the church to pray that any nation they find themselves is a pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We are going to pray. Elections are by the corner. We are only weeks away. And as it has been before now, every time is the moment of election, you find deaths, all kinds of things. I don't care who comes into power. If people die, it's not worth it. We have to first pray that God will preserve lives. Nobody who comes into power has the power to bring, to bring the breadwinner of a woman whose son, if the woman, the widow at Nain had lost her husband and now her only son had died. She didn't care whether it was Jesus who was coming, she was mourning until Jesus came and solved her problem. Listen to me. We have, we hopefully by the miracle service will take more time to pray, but the, I don't, do politics I don't do partisan politics there are people in every party in this in koinonia and fatherhood is your father to everybody I've prayed for people across every party even some I don't even know they existed I see prayed that's my job are we together now but I will tell you this listen carefully listen carefully please we're going to pray we have to pray for three things number one that God will help us and that his will will be done for this nation we are tired of a lot of rubbish and nonsense in this nation. Are we together? Number two, this is my personal observation, and I'm saying this to the body of Christ. Our emphasis seems to have been only on presidency. We are making a big mistake. No, there is no single president without the support of visionary governors, house members who can do well. That the illusion that it doesn't matter who comes into power, Nigeria will magically change is a joke. 
Nigeria is a democracy, it's a composite. There are 774 local governments, every one of them manned by leaders. And I can tell you, even if Lot is a good man, if he's surrounded by a place like Sodom and Gomorrah, he will still be ineffective. So the prayer, our attention seems to be on only the presidency. And I understand the dynamics of politics. I'm a Nigerian. But then we must extend our prayer to all the 36 states, all the senatorial zones, the, you know, the local governments and all of that, down to the councillor. If a councillor is a thief, he has contributed to the, tr the trouble in this, in this nation. Don't say what he stole is small. Stealing is still stealing. Are we together? Yes. Now, I'm saying this on air and I'm being very careful. I'm not, I have profound respect for the body of Christ and all the voices across the body of Christ, but I want you to listen to this. Please listen. And there's a reason why I'm saying this. I've seen many things about the election. Ethically, I don't come out to just, I respect God, I respect this ministry, and I respect myself too. Are we together? But I can tell you, there are two warnings, and I want you to quote me. I saw this in a vision. Media houses, be careful. This is one of the things I saw in my vision. I've prayed over it, but I saw serious problem coming because of mismanagement of commu effective communication across media houses, both social media and this. Let us be careful, and my encouragement to media people is act with no prejudices and biases and with the highest level of professionalism um, available for the sake of the citizens. I believe that people have their personal bi biases and, and, and everybody is allowed to do so, but there are mistakes that the media has been making for a long time and it's not brought a national repercussion. But I fear that if we do not take out time and those who head media houses, if there are any here, I know we have one or two, it's my word of caution lovingly to you and then across the body of Christ. Media houses, let us be careful because what I saw was a problem that evolved from media. Praise God. Us is to pray, but media, we have to be careful what we report. I believe there are systems and structures that govern mass communication. And as much as possible, I'm lending my voice on behalf of many who mean well for this nation to see that we do the needful with wisdom and intelligence. And that also means that those who man several social media platforms, whether personal or corporate, we must be able to fear God and love this nation more than the ability to drive traffic to our personal pages. Don't just sell conflict and sell nonsense because you are desperate for traffic and you do not care the repercussion that comes from people. Are we together? If you cause somebody pain and you make gain from it, you will not sleep well. It's a law. Are we together? So I'm saying this, I, I owe it to make my own contribution as much as God has granted grace. Authority has jurisdiction. We have fathers of faith in this nation. And I'm a man of God, but we have been trained enough to have spiritual intelligence. There are things that is not us that will speak. The fathers have a voice that is greater than us. Let them do the speaking. Us as sons is to make our own contribution as much as possible. And this is something men of God need to learn. I'm saying it to especially my generation of men of God. Don't think just because you saw and heard, you come and stand and speak. In every house, there is authority structure. Even among the demons, it was one person who spoke on behalf of the rest. Let's behave ourselves in the body of Christ so we do not make a fool out of the anointing. Now we owe a duty, everybody owes a duty to communicate whatever he heard and saw. But when you are speaking, I told you that influence is a very delicate commodity. You can use it to destroy people. Let us try, let's show the body of Christ and our nation that as men of God we were trained. Let's not come out like people from the wilderness with no decorum. It is not everything you see that you say. There are, the Bible says Mary kept these things to herself. The ability to keep things because according to scripture, it says a word spoken in due season 
there is a due season for every word so i'm encouraging you respectfully speaking fellow colleagues you know and and different co-laborers in the vineyard let us manage especially communication of prophecies i by no means devalue or i'll bring disdain to any man of god communicating any prophetic word no i am for the body of christ i hold every man of god as much as god grants grace in the esteem that is due their grace and the anointing but this i am saying it that we need to learn let us be contributors to nation building and not destroy because of the the itch to show we are accurate the desire to have a nation that is built with intelligence and godliness should be greater than a man of god trying to show that he is great are we together let's pray for nigeria please rise up on your feet mm. say father. father one more time say father, father. We, decree we decree and declare over nigeria, over nigeria. we declare peace we declare, we declare tranquility and we declare that the election will be violence free in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray peace tranquility violence free election that if there are any plans for bloodshed to waste lives and destinies we pray in the name of Jesus that the blood of Jesus will speak against demonic forces that may want to work against the well-being of Nigerians we pray for all Nigerians Christians Muslims traditionalists in the name of Jesus we pray all together there must be peace in this nation and as touching the election we declare that the purposes of God will be established over our nation we desire progress we desire advancement in the mighty name of Jesus the son of the living God pray for the presidential election pray for the gubernatorial election pray for the Senate pray for the House of Assembly you know counsel us all of the, the tears of government let's pray that God himself will bring people into this nation on seat and on board that will drive this nation to a place of prosperity unity peace and progress like our national anthem says that the labor of our heroes past should not be in vain free from violence we pray and we declare over the six geopolitical zones there must be peace in this nation no bloodshed no killing no violence no destruction of lives and property in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now the last prayer point we're going to pray for koinonia this is a ministry that we are all part of this is not one man's ministry and we're participating no koinonia is everybody's business and everybody's concern hallelujah i told you that in this ministry there are no fans uh -uh. fans don't have an inheritance it is people who connect we may be far and wide across the many nations and continents but love covenant and understanding has bound us together as a global family while it is true that we are sent to the body of christ but it is fair that we look inwards and pray for this our Jerusalem you are going to pray for koinonia right now whether you are watching from Europe you're watching from America from across Africa this is a gift that God gave to the nations even at such a time as this we are going to pray and cry father the, the fire of revival salvation transformation miracles signs and wonders it will never go down in this ministry open your mouth and please pray pray like you are praying for yourself pray like you are praying for your children pray like you are praying for that which god committed to your hands 
you are part of this vision make sure you pray father high level spirituality this will be a place where spiritual men are made mentored taught doctrine guided by the spirit this is a ministry that will continue to function by the influence of the spirit this is Bethel the place of bread the place of the word this remains a place of excellence a place of character in the name of Jesus a place of the manifestation of the power of God in unprecedented dimensions to heal to deliver to set free in the name of Jesus the fire of revival from this house will engulf the nations of the earth and we declare all the meetings this year the koinonia meetings the apostolic and prophetic meetings across this nation across the african nations and the continents of the earth in the name of jesus there are moments of encounter moments of salvation moments of transformation we will bring healing to governments healing to nations by the power of the holy spirit pray over the teachings that in the name of Jesus they are anointed afresh the teachings will mentor kings the teaching will mentor nations the teachings will be tools for revival tools for healing transformation many will come to Jesus through these teachings pray for all the sons and daughters in ministry connected to this vision in the name of Jesus they are excelling in the name of Jesus they are excelling pray for all the fathers that bless and speak over this ministry in the name of Jesus the Lord will keep and preserve them for our sake to keep speaking over our lives as we rise in the name of Jesus Christ pray for all the businesses in this ministry they will not fail pray for all the organizations in this ministry in the name of Jesus Christ Jesus revealed Jesus glorified in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah Jesus spoke to Peter and said thou art Peter hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching